The iForm Builder website took on a new look this week as CEO and co-founder Z Wong posted a message to our customers. As Z put it, in 2014, we are going to do something dramatic by disrupting the market inside and out. To find out more about that, I asked Z what was up. I have Z Wong from iForm Builder on the line with me. And Z, you just put out a new letter that's on the iForm Builder website. And it's sort of about how iForm Builder is going to be changing some of its structuring. And uh, what I'm wondering is how's, how's that going to affect uh, current clients and new clients? You want to well, tell us a little bit about that? Right. There should not affect anything. In fact, we're um, realizing we focus um, a lot on the product development in the last couple of years, which is what we need to do. And as a result, we become, um, when we think about um, our daily work, we think about our product how we grow our product, how we uh, make it better. Now, that's all good, but we want to change it a little bit in the, in um, this year. Um, we want to focus only on the customer. So we restructure our sales and marketing team, making one giant customer success team, and the only goal is to make our customer wildly successful. So um, how does that affect our ex existing customer that should be no difference. Um, um, you continue to get our super customer support. If you have um, been through our customer support, you know that they are they're great. And what we're trying to change a little bit is the, is the concept between sales and support. Um, it used to be, I mean, I think um, the world works like this. There is sales department where you get um, anything you want, and all their goal is to get you to sign up. Right? And then you go into the support department where um, they will support you to keep you around. Well, we want to change that, break down the wall, as I, as I told the team, and make the two together um, almost like um, breaking down the barrier between your, um, your chef in the restaurant and the, and the uh, waiters so that they work together to serve the customer. So a, a chef may and his cooking crew may just consider that, okay, we've set up the food, we're done, we're, we're done with our job, and the wait staff is, we're gonna serve them really quick, and we're gonna get that out there, but it's not our fault if food's bad, it's not our fault if it's cold, uh, so, it, and that's kind of what you're going towards, uh, breaking that kind of model. Right, I mean, yeah, it, it, going back to the, to the restaurant uh, scenario, where the, the chef may say, hey, it's not our fault, um, we put it out there, it was great and then you didn't serve them well or you were not polite in the front. Um, uh, the food is great, is the waiting staff is not great. What I want to change is that I don't care if, whose fault it is. Um, it's it's to both looking at it as the team, as one team will judge them together and ultimate success is customer um, satisfaction and, and customer success. So we want to coin this term and, and live it day to day how do we make our customers more successful? So we are actually talked about it internally, where if making our customers successful, meaning um, they um, not only use our product, but other, some other products, maybe uh, a comparable product, product or competitor, com competing product, while some, something we can still help and they use some other product, we we'll still, should still do it. That, that's the mindset that we're in. So you're saying that someone might come to iForum Builder and be talking to, uh, you know, Steve or Chris, some of the some of the guys here at iForum, and telling them you, you you want us at iForum to sort of ask more questions, find out if it's the right match, and if it's not, we don't want to just take their money. We want it to become, you know, we want to help them find the right partner. Right. So on, on sales, my big philosophy, and this is Chris's too, is that we don't want to sell. Um, we want to help you buy. Um, so that's the main philosophy in terms of selling, that we want to create an environment that helps you buy. We, we believe that if you're the right customer, you will buy. Um, we're, we're the best in what we offer. If you're in this box, if you will, um, then, then we'll just make it easy. Um, there's no point of pushing. Right. Uh, and now in the letter, in relation to that, uh, one of the things you talk about is uh, how, uh, to use your words, we're going to disrupt the marketplace by introducing an unlimited plan. And can you tell us a little bit about that? Right. So that is a um, um, 
pretty big move from from our from from our end, from the pricing end. Um, we have had uh, customers who grow uh, exponentially. So, um, thousand user account is not atypical nowadays in 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 our uh, customer base. So, when you grow that big that fast. Um, uh, we've seen our customers spend a lot of energy managing licenses, managing, okay, who use what, which um, 50 goes into this project, 100 goes into th that project. I have to take them back because otherwise we may pay more or the um, licenses are just just, just um, uh, maxing out. So we've seen a lot of that, and, and that is not healthy. It may be healthy in a smaller scale when you're growing up um, from from 10 to 100 user. Once you get to two word a thousand, um, having our customer continue to think about managing licenses are not healthy. So just like how we want to change the way we help customer, we also want to change the way customers manage themselves, which is by offering them an unlimited plan. So this will be unlimited in users. So they don't have to think about user licenses and also unlimited transactions. So you don't have to think about is, is this project um, using too much and, um, and, and worrying about. The whole thing you should worry about is how to, use, how to best use our product to maximize, maximize productivity. And that's what we want to focus on, on the, on the integration side, on, on um, the backend API, linking with other system, your backend, um, maybe your delivering system, your, your work order system, so to maximize what take in from our system and, and um, improving workflow. So it sounds, I mean, one of the things I noticed when I was reading the letter is it, it, you know, you talk about disrupting the sales force and the, and the support force. You talked in this sense, you're kind of disrupting what uh, we and, and a lot of companies do as far as the licensing goes of use of the product. And it, it, what I always love about iForm is it seems like the focus has always been how can we help the client do what they want to be doing. If it's education, they're focused on the education, not on the software. And now this sort of takes another thing off the table for them to worry about in the management of, of software and usage and, and licensing. Right, exactly. I mean, we, we always want to say, um, this is Chris's uh, favorite line, that we, want to, we do not want to be a vendor. We want to be your te technology partner. And this helps on, on that sense where you don't worry about um, using us too much because now if you get to that layer, uh, user is free, usage is free. Uh, you're only worrying about how to best maximize your productivity. Uh, so that's, that's, that's a big step. Um, we're, we're going to start on the, on the upper tier. We'll, we'll, this year we're going to start on the um, 100 plus user, making it make sense for these people to go into the unlimited Unlimited plan. Um, right. Ideally, if this works, um, um, if this works well, next year we truly want to go all unlimited. So you just come in and start using it. Now um, we need to we need to make sure we can still pay our bills. Um, but ultimately, I think the goal is not to um, charge you on on the number of users or usage. We want to. We want our product to be productive. We want to help you get more done, and that's when we should charge. Okay. Well, that that sounds great. And then I just wanted to mention one more thing: is you uh, you you were talking about the combination of the sales force and the support team and everybody at iForm is uh, you use the term. It's not unlike the mission of the Marvel Comics Avengers. And being the comic geek that I am, I like that. Uh, I was yeah. trying to figure out if if you could be any superhero. Uh, or who you know, who or have any superpower? What would that be? Oh well, um, <laughs> that's a very wooly tough question. Um, <laughs> but since childhood, I always liked Superman. Although um, he he is not as as hot nowadays as as uh, it used to be. Um, but yeah, I, I do like um, the theme or the feeling of Superman being being um, trying to do something and still have. Have have um, some limitation. Um, um, so yeah, I mean Superman being able to to just do a lot of different things and uh, being able to see through, help humanity. Um, that's that's right. ultimately what 
a lot of us feel like we hear uh, we're here to do. So I always have one line to to the team that that is that um, here I feel like we have a chance of changing the world, not that we uh, uh, will. Um, uh, but we could, we have a chance, and how often do you get that chance? So um, we all feel good. I wake up every morning feel, feeling, um, um, I mean, tremendous uh, blessing that, that I have to shop. Right, right. Well, you're uh, my hero. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Ziwang, thank you so much. Um, everybody, uh, you can always look at our uh, letter and other information at iformbuilder.com. Uh, Z, looking at, looking ahead to the new year, is there anything uh, that that you're looking forward to doing? You know, even outside of the office, is there any place you want to go visit or? Oh, uh, yes. So yeah, um, this year I want to hit. I want to go go to the field, uh, especially third world countries, looking at a lot more of our NGO projects. So um, we have. Yeah, hundreds of projects in Africa and and South America. I want to see some of those. I want to go hands on and and see really what's going on and what are we doing? What what is our customers doing with our with our technology and how to make it better? That's great. Well, thank you very much. Right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.